Hi YouTube, Murta here. With today's video, I will cover the story of the Voldev, or Reldorai, and why they have decided to join the Alliance instead of the Horde. The Voldev story is tied to the area with Runner last visit to the Sunwell. During this quest, Alleria's Void powers had lured Void Ethereals, the Ike the one we met on Argus, to the Sunwell. With the help of the Horde champion, Lord Temar, Romnath, Liadrin, and a Nightboard delegation, she will be able to send back the Void forces, but Lord Temar will exile her for Silvermoon, due to her powers be too dangerous to the Southwell. During the quest, Romnath will nominate a new character, Humbrick, saying that he did well to cast him out together with his followers, for studying the Void. At this point, Aleria, with the help of the Alliance Champion, will search for this Humbrink. During his search, we will see glimpses of Humbrink's past, how he decided to study the Void, and that he was not the first to study this energy. In fact, Dark and Dartir, the one elf responsible to the fall of, of Silver Moon, helping the Scourge to raise the Sunwell, had studied the Void Energies in his uh, house located in the Ghostland, in the Downstar Spire. Finding the place when the last flashback appears, Aleria will, will be able to open a portal, a portal that leads to a Void Rift when Humbrick and his pool of researchers are studying the void. When you enter there, Humbrick will, will heartily welcome Aleria and ask him for help for their studies, showing them an ancient relic, maybe of the, maybe that was created when the Black Empire was still ruling over Azeroth. While they try to solve out the mystery of this relic, the same ethereal they have tried to attack the Sunwell before, have now invaded this, vo this void space, trying to subdue Humbrick and all his followed students. But with the help of Valeria and the righteous champion that is you, we will be able to cast out these ethereals once more time. But during the fight, Humbrick and his students will become forever changes by the forces of the void. Due to this new condition, they will ask to Alleria helps to keep control over the foil forces, and she will welcome to help them on the side that they will join the alliance. Humbling, at this point being casted out from Silvermoon and having no other place to where to get help, he will happily join the alliance, giving his, his knowledge and his ability together with the un ones that have decided to follow him on the glory of the Alliance. So that's pretty much the story of the Void Elf for now. I think that there is much more than just an emo elf. And I would like to know your opinions and I can't wait to try their quest to unlock this Hyde Racer during this PTR testing that started last week. So, see you in the next video. Bye bye.